as a stand-alone man. So what was it that had you choose to live as a stand-alone man? Well, as we approached um, retirement, we were looking at some of the things we wanted, yep. and we decided that we wanted to build. And everywhere I looked, and I thought about the things we wanted, sustainability yep. came to the, the fore. So it was something that I began to do a lot of investigation and research on and found that it was definitely the way to go. Well, I wanted to uh, make the, the best use of our footprint. I wanted to make sure that we had only what we needed, no more. Uh, and I wanted to be energy efficient. I wanted to be able to not have the big utility bills that other couples had and to be able to live in a home that also we could stay in for the rest of our lives. After shifting so much, we didn't want to have to um, say in five years' time this is no longer suitable if our circumstances change. We wanted to stay in it for the rest of our lives. So this home, it's three bedroom, two bathrooms. Yeah. Um, multifunctional, so it can it's zoned. So you've got mm -hmm. the guest area where your mum yes. stays, where the study is as well, yeah. which can be used as another bedroom. Yes. Which um, Mike's son uses a bedroom yes. when he comes and stays, whilst your mother is here. Yes. My understanding. Yes. And then your area is the other end yes. with the living, dining, kitchen yes. between the two. Yes. And also, because normally a block like this would be a problem from the universal access, because you've got three steps up to the block. We do. Higher. We do. But because it's re you've got a lane way at the rear, that's, exactly right. that's where the universal yes. access comes into the home. Yes. Yes. So, which and we don't have any steps down into the, the garage area. So, for instance, with Mum, if I take her out for a walk in the wheelchair, I yep. just put her in it and we go out the back way yes. and we're yep. fine. You know, we can get yep. in and out without any problems with her. It's great. Yeah. And the whole garden out here is done so you can move around smoothly. Yes. yes. And you've got raised garden beds yes. as well. So. That's for me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, I don't have to bend down to look after my roses. So, and the kitchen yeah. is also designed so that um, it's adaptable. It's it's set for someone to use with mobility it issues. Is. It is. Um, but as well as that, you have a, a rubber bench at the end, which we've left yeah. a space so we can actually put another seating area at the end of the bench, yes. um, just in case your mum in particular, yes. or Mike, because he's got some um, issues, issues yeah. with... Um, mobility, it means they can be there in the kitchen. Yeah, that's right. And be included. Yeah, and we've, um, we've put power points on the side there so that, that there'll be power be points there yeah. so, you know, we can adapt that and, and bring yep. it out a little bit so that even in a wheelchair it's still usable. So, best kitchen ever. Love it. Yeah, it's yeah, been great. Uh, we're we're your mum, who's what, 90? Nearly 91. Nearly 91. She stays here for several weeks, several yeah. times a year. She does. She's just been with us for eight weeks. Yep. Um, over the winter period because she lives in Bustleton and it's too cold. Yeah, she yeah. comes up here so that she's nice and warm and never, ever has to have on heaters or anything, yeah. not once. Yeah, which is fantastic. Yeah. She has a Zimmer frame. She does. And so she can move around she can the move, house. And she can come out in the garden, she can do everything. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we've got flush thresholds yeah. coming outside, yeah. in and out of the yeah. room. All of those things. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. And her bathroom, which is a shared bathroom, but yes. it's done as a semi ensuite Yes, yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, she can use that, and does she does that work for her? It well? does. Well, she has the sort of train to help with her showering, and for them, they can get in with her easily. There, you know, there's room for chairs and all sorts yep. in there with her, right. and they've got plenty of room. There's no safety issues. All the tiles are the, the um, non-slip, yep. uh, so she's never in danger in there. And the girls love it because they can get in there easily. And I can say to them, don't worry about cleaning up, it'll be dry within half an hour and it is. Yeah, right. So we can yeah. just leave it. Um, and, and that's mid-winter, dry mid within winter. half an hour yes. having a shower. Yes. Yeah, imagine. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, which is fabulous. And yeah. also the flush threshold in the shower, so there's Perfect. no hot. Yeah. It just smoothly goes yeah. in, no water comes out from right. the shower. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, as someone once said to me, it's also easy to clean the dog in there. <laughs> yeah, it would absolutely be, absolutely would be, yeah. yeah. It's also a low allergen home, which is the bar both bathrooms are facing north, stop any mould and mildew building up. It just and never happens, we don't get it. No, none whatsoever. And, and the thing is too, we shower usually in the evening, so yep. it could build up, but it never does.
I went to all the free workshops I could go yeah. to, met with people yeah. and found out about orientation so that yeah. when I came and you, you look in a sort of like a, an area like Lakelands where we live, there's a whole pile of new land going up. But when you look at it, there'd only be three or four blocks that would be really suitable. Yeah. And this just happened to be one of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, winter, I just feel it's like this house shines in winter because I absolutely hate the cold. Born in the tropics, I've always found winters. I've, I've always been very, very sad during winter. <laughs> and I haven't had that at all because in this house, all, all the way through winter, I can wear a t-shirt, you know, a long sleeve t-shirt that I pull up. I really don't need a jumpers. My jumpers have become obsolete. Yeah. It's been comfortable and cosy all the time, so it's just a joy. I mean, my mum, when she had to leave a week ago to go back to Bussington, said, no, I'm really very comfortable here. I'm not sure I want to go home. <laughs> In fact, I've had to pop it down. And so every window and every door is designed to line up particular way so the air will go through this even the slightest small breeze yes. to cool the building in and summer. The, the and also, ventilation, the wind that come through at certain times and the breeze is just cools the whole house down and it stays cool all night. It's been one in, in summer in, in the kitchen, you know, and I'm preparing a meal and it can get quite hot and I open the window that's just in. It's, I always call it my air conditioning window because the minute I open it, all this cool air comes in and I'm fine, you know. Right. It really is like turning on an air conditioner. It works that efficiently. So. Okay. Um, not really. The only thing is we had a bit of a, we thought we had a glass window in our door in our scullery and we don't. And we would like that to be half glass, mm. so we had natural light coming yeah, a in. Bit of light but, but it's really, it's not. I can open the door anyway if yeah. I need light in there. Yeah. Um, and 